Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. I am the Max Few Trades. And well, everybody, it seems we're finally at the end. And I mean that in every sense of the word. There's no way to go back to anywhere we ever were. What with our on our, four, our poor Manta Ray friend apparently dying in the process of getting us onto the flippin' moon. Actually, no, you know what? <laughs> this, is, this needs to be a bit more further explained. You see... We're on top of a gigantic magical tree created by God that had a moon crash into it, but it's not a moon, it's an embryo for a species that's going to kill everybody, and obviously, we gotta do something about that. So after all their trials and tribulations, the team is here, we're at full strength, we're gonna go to the very core of this moon, and we are going to kick all sorts of butt and we're not gonna let no dang god, no god's gonna be destroying this plant, thank you very much. I am far too fond of it to let that nonsense happen. So let's go, 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 go! Of course, there are still wild encounters. There's always wild encounters. Even on the freaking moon tree, tree moon, whatever you want to call it. Point is, it's weird to have it here. Alright, fine. What kind of diabolical, heinous, and downright insidious creatures are dwelling in such a death-defying area as the final area of the game. Slugs! Slugs and frogs! My god! Who could have ever saw it coming? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of really like the, um, the sort of anti-climax of the, the generic enemies you can fight in this place, because it's like, well, you wouldn't... You wouldn't expect to be fighting, you know, small fries of this caliber at the end of the game, but at the same time, you gotta realize, I mean, we are on a giant tree. At the, I mean, at the end of the day, really, what else were you expecting to find up here? Granted, there are a boatload of virages just flying all over the damn place. That could be problematic, might want to get that checked out, but we, we gotta focus on, on the major problem first, okay? We gotta stop Shauna from merging with the Virage embryo and becoming the God of Destruction. Because that's, apparently, the evil plan going on here! Which is insane! Regardless, we are up to the task, I can only assume. Anyway, what's up with this thing? Rose, what's this? It's a fruit of the Divine Tree. It seems to be dried up, though. Interesting. Fruit? Did all the species really arise from such a small things? Well, babies are really, really small. Only the creator Soa knows that, so which is just a legend for us. But we are standing on the divine tree, which supposedly was in the same legend, and we'd better believe it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Let's move on. We better hurry up, or there will be no one to even to tell the legend. That is true. The legend! The Legend of the Dragoons is what we're going down here for. Woohoohoo! Uh, ain't nobody care about the Divine Tree. People are going to be talking about how a bunch of dragon warriors just straight up flew into the moon and murdered a god of destruction and saved their poor asses. Because that sounds awesome. Sounds like something they should have made a video game about. Oh, wait, they did. All right. Really, it's kind of. Okay, that's something a little more intimidating. What the flying hell? Some kind of chimera? Oh no, it's a manticore! Oh! Well, I suppose a manticore is, in a sense, a chimera. A chimera is just a hodgepodge of different species, and that's kind of what a manticore is. Uh, ancient legends and folklore never really seem to bother creating their own species of legend. They seem to just really like taking bits and pieces from all, all manner of creatures and make those the legendary beasts. I mean, let's be honest here, I mean, a manticore, okay, it's a friggin', it's a lion with a scorpion tail and bat wings. Like, okay. And a griffin. A griffin is just a lion with an eagle's head. Why would you, who comes up with that? I don't understand. It's very weird. And then there's just, oh, I know, we'll just fuse humans with stuff. That's how you get stuff like the centaurs, the satyrs, the gorgons, all manner of bric-a-brac. All you gotta do is fuse the human torso of something onto the animal leg ends of something else and boom you just created something from way back in the begone times Ugh. i'm not sure i mean i guess it's based off you know more so things that people thought they saw 
like mermaids. I mean, people thought, oh, there's a mermaid. That, 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 that looks like some kind of person, but with a fish tail, you know? I mean, so and it turns out most people speculate that all the sailors really saw were manatees and mistook them for fat balding women, I guess. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe everyone just had much worse eyesight back in the day and they thought these were legitimately the things they were seeing and that's how they got passed on. And rather than, and they really didn't have any way of communicating exactly what they saw, so they're all like, well, it was all kind of like a lion, but it had like a bird head, sort of. So they just kind of went off of those and just like, yeah, is this, does it look like this? Eh, close enough. <laughs> anyway, making sorts of small talk. Oh, hey -oh. now it's time for stuff to actually happen. This stream... It seems like it's sending a vital force to the moon that never sets. You know, we could just call it the moon. It must be that the divine tree is getting ready to give birth to the god of destruction. Trees can give birth? That's kind of terrifying. Then, well then again, I guess Ents. Huh. Then, if we take this stream in this... Yes, it will carry us to the top. Let's hurry! Alright, into the murky depths! I'm sure this won't lead to an extraordinarily hilarious image. He says, waiting for that image. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the silliest looking thing. Is anybody in the audience here good at making GIFs, or at least know how to do so? Can somebody make a GIF of this, this little, this scene here of all the characters tumbling in the fetal position upward? Because my goodness... This is this was hilarious when I first saw it, and it's still funny today, and I want to keep it for all times. Anyway, you might be wondering, hey, well, what happened to the Congle? Well, I'll tell you what happened to the Congle. He's just really heavy. Eh, go, 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 come on. There he is. <laughs> uh, good times. And just like that, we're at the very, well, not the very, but very closer to the tippity top of the entire thing. So, yeah, woo! Fantastic. We got right up close. In addition, maybe because we let ourselves flow in the vital force, I feel revitalized! I feel why I'm pulsating with unknown power! It means that the power of the divine tree that gave birth to all species is still alive. Well, yeah, trees live a long time. In order to kill all the species, it revived the power. Bum bum bum. But what about our other friends? Landing succeeded! <laughs> Ta! And then... <laughs> Just straight up knocks him that Miru down. That's awesome. It's like what? What's up? What is that? Uh some kind of bugaboo? Looks like a bug. Did Congo's landing awaken it? I guess. Huh. I don't know why that was a thing that happened. Oh well. We gotta get going. We were very perplexed by that bug. Anyway, what's this business? White Silver Dragon's armor! Boom! shaka laka laka ding dong Let's do it. Hang on, hang on. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Here's the thing. This is, heed, heed my advice when it comes to being on the moon that never sets, okay? Make sure that every single character in the entire team has the best possible stuff that you can give them. This is very important, okay? Even if you've never used any, like, a specific character ever... You, you absolutely have to make certain that they, at the very least, have the best armor they have, okay? They should have enough residual EXPs in order to succeed when moving forward, but, you know, you don't have to train everybody. It just, it, it certainly helps. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I guess I kind of just, I kind of spoiled the fact that every single character is going to at least be forced to be used at least one last time. Gotta stop saying at least. This is one of the fruits, too. Yes, and all the species who were blown in this way are about to be annihilated. So let's stop gawking at freaking cocoons and go fight us a god. Oh! Alright, fine, Rosie. Why you gotta be so angry about stuff? My goodness. Sheesh, you'd think this is not the end of the world or anything. <laughs> oh, why aren't you laughing? That's hilarious. Get out of here. And now more bugaboos have decided to mess up my day. Huge ass frogs and slugs. What is up with that nonsense? Ain't nobody got time for all sorts of frog nonsense. Okay, get out of here. You're not Glenn. You're not a sword wielding frog man. 
cursed by an evil wizard that I decided to eliminate even though that was an unpopular decision. I don't give a damn. In my magical little world, people have to pay for the horrible, horrible crimes they commit. I don't care, man. If, if y'all y'all want to redeem yourself after doing something terrible, like, fine, I guess, but you gotta do it, man. You can't just expect me to just ignore all of the terrible things you did just because, uh, boo -hoo, I am a bad guy. Oh, I have reasons. Like, get out of here with that nonsense. Cool motive, bro. Still murder. My god. Alright, keep on going, keep on going. Ignore the safe spot because I don't need it. Crap cakes. Ah. Uh, a fraction of a millimeter even closer and we would have gotten to the next screen before monsters jumped out at us. And now we gotta deal with more manticores. Uh, by Joe. Fine. If you wish to be manticore meat, then I shall destroy your faces. Like so. A little bop and a bing and a boom and a bada boop. There we go. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, Maru's strength is just not quite good enough. Luckily, Hachel and Dark can more than make up for that sort of deficit. There we go, take this, and that, and some of this, and one of those, and a few of these, and a punch up there, and bada bing bada boom! Now you are dead! LOL! Alright, come on, Maru! Go, go, go! Da, 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 and I screwed it up! Bump up! <laughs> oh well, okay, Dart, you do what needs to be done! Yeah, that works. Woo! Da, slash like this, do a little twirl, da, 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 kick the face, and one more shoo shoo! And there you go. We are so friggin' strong, you guys! I can't handle all of this! Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Thinking brain was not working. There we go, okay. F I forgot where we were! It's like, where on the tree are we? Oh, right. On the precipice of actual progress. Ah, yes. It's time for this nonsense to take place. It'll be soon. Yes, but look at that! Oh my god, it's a bug! Is that the caterpillar from back there? Indeed it is! Very observant of you, Dart. And apparently it just kinda hates us. It's a miracle! There was an unhatched fruit left over! And now we're gonna kill it! It's a subspecies of a new insect! It was just born and it's coming after us! It's a caterpillar with butt tentacles! Oh my god! That is 19 different types that I don't even... I don't want that. Get out of here, butt tentacle Eno. And no, I don't have the slightest idea why there's a boss fight with a caterpillar so late in the game. And that can't end well. You okay there, Maru? Oh boy, you're okay. That was just being stunned? That's no biggie. We can handle that. Alright, now we just got him wail on this caterpillar. And I imagine you guys probably know where this kind of fight is going. It's a caterpillar, so it's it's kind of obvious, but uh, I won't say nothing until it's happened. Boom shagalaga! Here we go, not bad, not bad. And hopefully, it'll either attack Maru, or Maru will get up of her own volition very, very soon. Oh, looks like you missed. Unfortunate. Seems like... Seems like this leftover species should have probably stayed in the incubation tank. Because apparently ain't got no dev perception. Because how on earth would you even miss with that sort of an attack? You just went... Dart wasn't even walking anywhere, man. And now you're breathing more who knows what. And look what you've done. Look what you've done now, you no good caterpillar monster. How dare ye! Y'all have to do something to wake those guys up eventually. And when you do, oh, the revenge will be very, very justified. See, look at that. Maru's already back. She don't give a damn. She's Maru! She'll dance all over your stupid corpse! There we go! Singing the Pokemon song for reasons I don't know! Either way. Here we go! It's done being a caterpillar! This damn thing just pulled a caterpie on us! Turn it into a cocoon! How dare you! Or, I guess it's a poopa! Or pupa, whatever. Doesn't matter, it's a freaking cocoon! Call it what it is, video games! Okay. That takes care of that. Dart, could you please? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, unlike. <laughs> much like an ordinary metapod, you. I don't think you can actually do anything while in this state, so. I guess that's cool. I mean, eventually it's, it's gonna come out of that thing as a beautiful butterfly. 
And then you have to fight that. Pretty sure the... Yeah. You just gotta bust the thing open and... la di dee la dee da Pretty sure the, what actually happens when you beat up a, a... You know, a cocoon is the thing inside of it dies. It's kind of why cocoons look like pieces of nature so that, you know, predators don't mess with it. Either way, it's some sort of horrifying man fly. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of Knights, that Sega game that people know about, even though it was... The <laughs> Knights, the game that nobody ever played but seemed to know about anyway. yup ah, There we go. All right, you got to be careful with this, Fliggity What's It. It's got the moves to mess you up like no one's business if it really chooses to. It's probably more than most likely going to end up doing at least one of that deadly move I'm talking about. Is that just kind of the thing? Whoa! Hang on. Oh, no. Just spraying a bunch of purple who knows what's. Ah, dispiriting. Oh, no. Now I can't gain SP. What a terrible affliction that I have been bestowed down. And Dart, are you ever going to get up? He just, he just keeps staying down, man. Come on. We need your help here, okay? You're, you're the strongest of the three characters here offensively. At least in physical sense. So come on. Get your butt up, Dart. How are we supposed to save the friggin' world from this demonic butterfly? And then a god of destruction. Oh my goodness. It, very silly, this game. But I love it so much. Holy hell. Oh, here it comes. Ah, yep. I don't know why a weird butterfly monstrosity is capable of doing this, but there you go, I guess. Instant death. That is just unfortunate. Oh, no, don't do the thing. Ah, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I sincerely thought it was going to say miss, which would have been funny. Oh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Oh, it appears that I don't have any reviving items. Probably should have bought a few of those before I left. Whoopsie. Oh, well, can't do anything about it now, I guess. Except whale on a butterfly. Boom shakalaka. Okay, take care of business. Wait patiently. And eventually Dart will get his stupid ass up. My goodness. Oh, no. Now Maru can't get SP. This is just terrible. Oh, oh finally. Couldn't have gotten up earlier to save a shell or anything. No, man, we got to... I was taking a snooze. I was dreaming about the fact that I didn't have to fight a god of destruction. It's like, well, get out of your fantasy world, Dart. It's time to fight a giant butterfly. It's like Mothra, if Mothra was more humanoid. Which I'm grateful that it's not, but you know what I mean. Keep on going, keep on going. Yeah. Still. I still don't understand why this is in the game. It's like, it's a perfectly fine boss fight and everything i just i'm not entirely sure there was trust me there's plenty of things to do here we don't really you're gonna take out maru too oh boy that's not good at all okay dart you need to kill this giant butterfly thing before it kills you okay apparently had some kind of dodon ray thing going on there that's cool i guess Ugh. I've got far bigger fish to fry, and a lot of other really cool stuff to get to, so if you'd be so kind as to just, you know, flat out die, that would be the coolest. I would appreciate that. Okay, now you appear to be clawing at my face and stuff. Not cool, not cool. Alright. Now come on, Dart, finish this thing off so we can actually get to the cool stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, the caterpillar monster was cool and everything, but yeah, we got more important stuff to do. Alright, so... Dart's pretty much the only one who's going to be getting any sort of benefits from that. Unfortunate. Oh, well. This kind of sucks to be them, I guess. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I could use some of these things. Let's see. Lord knows I ain't going to be using any of these mind or body purifiers anytime soon. I thought I would, but it turns out, nay. I'm just, I just don't use the stuff. All right. So that takes care of that, I suppose. Dead Caterpillario. We barely defeated it! It's Sadly, that's not inaccurate. Let's go! We're almost at the moon. Indeed. Except we're gonna have to go through a quick little detour! Woo -woo 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 -woo. We kinda have to get back to that magical water and heal ourselves up because, you know, I mean, Maru and Nichelle are kind of in a bad way right now. 
Either way, it's not nearly as long a walk as you'd think it would be, so it's like, why not? Oh no! We're gonna have to fight some more gobbledygooks! That's never a good sign. Very well! Bring on all of your gobbledygooks. I'm sure we'll be able to take care of all of them before they can take out any of our dudes. And I'm sure I didn't just jinx myself by saying that. Alright. Go, go, go! Slamma, jamma, mamma, banna, badingo. Screwed it up. Doesn't matter. Still killed the frog. The frog had no choice. He, he, he knew what was going to go down, and he just laid down and accepted it. And there we go. Anyone else noticing the full, like the world class freak out the squid, the, the squid, the sluggy guy is doing whenever I hit him? It's outright absurd. All right, smacking things around, killing lots of frogs. No big deal. No big deal. All right. Now that you've interrupted my healing process, could you please ski doodle on out of here, please? That would just be the swellest. Thank you and good night, sir. Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Yep, that's a lovely view of I don't even know what. Not sure why it's showing it, <laughs> showing us that. Come on, come on. Couldn't let me get to the freaking healing water first. Ugh, should've just used a stinking healing item where I was. Oh well, no harm in beating up, oh, a singular frog monster. Well, look at the cojones on this fellow. Thinking he can handle everything, where whereas a small army of the little froggy dudes from earlier. Now, they couldn't do it, but this lone warrior, he clearly has what it takes. Disgraceful. Get out of here with that nonsense, you no good nick. Alright, now come on, drink the weird tree sap water thing. I don't friggin' there. Ah, there we go. Now progress can be truly made. Uh, and we'll have to fight, like, three more groups of enemies before we can get back to where we stuck. <sighs> yeah, I really should have just used a healing item. My apologies. Uh, my sincerest Applegates. Okay. Running, 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 running. Just make it one more screen. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> ah, now, the question is, are we going to have to face one group of enemies or two group of enemies before we leave this stage, this little area place? I'm betting too, because let's be honest, my luck's not so good at that sort of thing. Maybe I should have invested in more of those uh, dispiriting thingamabobbers that keep enemies away. That might have been a good idea. Oh well, can't change the past, and we certainly... There ain't no store we can go back to, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. Oh dear. Oh. Son, you better not. That better not have done what I think it might have done. Okay, mild damage all around, that's fine. I'm okay with that. If you were about to instill fear in one of my characters, I was gonna go straight up Bananarama on you. My goodness, I do not need none of that right now, okay? Ugh, seriously, we haven't even gotten to the freaking moon part yet. We're still on the tree. Ain't nobody care about the tree. It's just an old dead piece of nature. Ain't nobody care about that. It's so once you jump into the moon where everything gets downright wacky. Boom shagalaka. Boom shagading! There, victory has been assured. Now, if we could just make it to the moon, to the moon! Somebody get the soy sauce! All right, come on, come on, come on! Gotta go, 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 go! All right, there was only one. Not bad, not bad. And at the very least, we made it back to where we were. Oh my goodness! How much time did that waste? Like five, six minutes? <laughs> Lame, 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 lame! Come on, Dart. Crap. I knew. It was unlikely, but a man is allowed to dream. Alright, fine. Although, on the plus side, this should be the last group of who knows what's to really have to get in our way. Yeah, that was a sentence. Good job, Brain. Right when I needed you the most, you decided to completely abandon me in my time of need. Ugh. I tells ya, trying to be entertaining while playing a Vigima game? It ain't the easiest thing in the world. A lot of people can't pull it off in the slightest, and that's unfortunate. I am one of those people. <laughs> uh, then again, I guess I have gotten weird. I guess people have said that for some reason my commentary is pretty good, and that they don't understand how I'm able to just constantly yap, 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 ad nauseum no matter what. Like, I ain't got nothing to say, but I can keep talking about stuff. It's easier to talk about stuff when there's stuff to talk about, but, 
you know, I can meander about and make casual observations about things before, you know, when I'm, when I'm stuck in the middle ground waiting for the next story element to come up so I can talk about it there. Anyway, there's the dingin' moon. Whew. Okay. And gotta have a little conversation first. Moon that never sets. It's spreading poison all over the world. How can you tell? Or are you talking about the Virage? In which case, that's racist. In order to stop the poison, we have to reach the core of the moon. Yeah, that's only what, like a couple hundred thousand miles? Yeah, I'm sure we can handle that. Yeah, before it's too late. Now let's sit around and talk about it a little more. Unless Shauna and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the God of Destruction won't be born, right? Yep, that is the, in fact, what has been established, Albert. Thank you for recapping. It is a dilemma for us, because we want to take Shauna back. If we don't meet Shauna, and if we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. Which means, of course, that's totally not what's going to happen. The, the God of Destruction is going to get born. You don't, you don't tempt RPG players with a God of Destruction and not make that the final boss. I mean, come on. Anyway, Zeke is here for sure with Shauna. So, that's the only chance to save her. So let's go, go, go. We will save both the world and Shauna. Fate is not in the hands of the creator. It's in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of the world. Who cares what that jerk thinks? That goes for Shauna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. Oh, challenge more fate, Lucina. I just told you. Calm yourself, girl. Okay. You'll have your time whenever I can find a way to record 3DS games. Okay, well, that's not true. I mean, I know how to record 3DS games. I just can't afford the capture card for it. That's like $300. Uh, anyway, 